Ellie had something called pneumatosis and so she was in hospital for a long time, unable to eat and um, when she could finally eat, all that she wanted was her, her dad's spaghetti bolognese um, and so Beryl gave us use of the packed house to, to come and cook it and, and eat it and we weren't allowed home but we were allowed here because it's so close to the hospital. The, the food at the hospital leaves something to be required and it was nice to come up here and have a family meal and give Billy the option of eating lots of different things. Uh, on the 15th of August this year, on, uh, on my daughter's birthday, she was diagnosed with leukaemia, my daughter, uh, Aisha. Um, as you can imagine, the impact of such horrendous news is, is huge. If it wasn't a packed house, um, it would have been hugely expensive trying to find somewhere and travelling, the time consumption. It takes the strain off having to worry about things like that and you can actually stay and concentrate on what I should be doing which is looking after my daughter. The reason I'm using PACT is because my uh, daughter of six months, Siri, uh, was born with a rare form of eye cancer called retinal blastoma. Both Severine and I are both totally blind. PACT has been a wonderful resource for us in terms of using their house just along the road from the hospital. This has helped in the sense of we're not having to go home every single night when Siri's receiving treatment. I'm currently here because my son is being diagnosed with a brain tumour roughly about 12 weeks ago. Three weeks later from surgery, we are now on the children's hospital on the ward where we are having a chemo, intense chemo. It's a very rare brain tumour that the ESA has got, so obviously we're not sure what the plan is uh, yet. The nice things for William to look forward to, he, he's got a Christmas party which he's really excited to, which builds him up, it, it, you know when he's down on the ward, because it is, it's hard when he's on treatment, he's very low, he's very weak, he's very anxious, he's got all these fears going off in his head, but when you have little things like Christmas parties and days out, it makes a biggest difference. One of the things the children and the families really look forward to is being able to go to the events that are held by PAC. So being able to go out for the day in an environment where everyone else knows what's happening with you in the sense of knows where you're at and that you don't have to talk about that but there's an understanding and a level of sharing because you're all there at Alton Towers or at Pets Corner um, and just having a fun family normal day out. The reason I'm here today is because I'm a medical trustee for um, PACT and I see the difference it makes for our children every, and the families that come to see us every day of the week. They uh, make sure that the kids are uh, really looked after by doing all sorts of crazy stuff for them like parties at Christmas and um, trips to Alton Towers. What did you like about Alton Towers best? The log flume. Log flume. And why was that? because we got really wet we did, didn't we? <laughs> My little girl, Ellie, was diagnosed with neuroblastoma back in 2005 when she was just six years old. Um, she started having quite a lot of pain in her stomach and things, and we didn't know what it was, and we took her to the hospital, and basically we stayed there for several months. She had um, a long stint of her illness. She was poorly for two and a half years. Um, she did go into remission 10 months before she died, but unfortunately it came back and came back with vengeance, to be honest. Ellie did eventually pass away in 2007, which was extremely difficult, and we did bring her home to pass, which did make quite a big difference to me. When my daughter Megan was diagnosed with cancer in 2008, she had a liver tumour. It was the most horrendous time that I've ever been through, but PACT were there to help out. We were also able to take family holidays in the packed caravans in both Filey when Megan was on treatment and then in Berwick after she'd finished her treatment. Since then I've written a sprout recipe book. It's called Once a Sprout, Always a Sprout or Maybe Not and it's in memory of a little girl Lulu who sadly passed away in 2008. I decided I wanted to raise some money for PACT. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I'm not brave enough to jump out of a plane or anything like that, so I decided to shave my head. Um, 
and um, it's a brilliant charity. They were brilliant for my friend um, and my goddaughter and niece, Lauren. She had cancer when she was um, two and she actually died when she was three, four years ago. So I've done it in memory of her. Whilst we were at Packed House while Neve was having radiotherapy, we got into a little bit of a habit of having takeaway nights on Wednesdays. So we'd have family and friends over and even other families that were staying in the house and we'd order big takeaways and shove the chairs back and have some fun. It really made a terrible, terrible situation fun. And we've got some fabulous memories. We've made some great friends. And you know, everybody just mucks together and makes the most of what we've got.